Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 64 match between K-Fog and Care Bear or something. Kerbal. <laughs> um, I'm in the booth with Purple Chest. Hello. Good afternoon, evening or morning, depending when you watch this. Yes, indeed. So we've got Kerbal with uh, humans. Um, are there any, any are there any inducements? No inducements to speak of. Um, so I don't know why he doesn't have 13 players, but there you go. Anyway, we were talking about something before. Um, so this is quite a decent team, isn't it? He's got a strength for carrier that isn't picking up the ball. Yep. Um <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes, odd, odd position to put himself in. Um, yeah. The strength for is armor bust, um, which isn't obviously visible on the Blood Bowl 2 client, but uh, that's an interesting little feature there. Yeah. Um, he's got a mighty blow tackler, strength four. Blodge, he's got a lot of blodge actually, hasn't he? He's got two, he he's does. Got three blodge blitzers, blodge thrower. Yep. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of tackle. I mean, yeah. really a lot of tackle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more than you'd expect um, for its TV. Yeah, I mean, only by one, but I mean, two tackle would be lovely at this point. Three is a bit of a luxury. Um, a lot of it not backed up by either guard or mighty blow, which is going to be a really interesting feature of this game. It's very guard like. Yeah, it's it's just a light human team in general, isn't it? So it's a quite a nice draw for it, really, getting the scale. And if it had got yeah. like, my chaos, it would have just looked <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> yes, I, I simply, I think my dwarves could delete it. In a, well, I thought that about the Kislev, so perhaps not, but... Yeah. Um, another little feature that doesn't show again, is uh, just for a visibility thing, is the ogre is move busted. So it's move four. Um, but stand firm will you know, make up for that a little bit, save it this odd square here or there. Yep. And the reason that the humans aren't at 13 is that one of them was missing, which I didn't notice when I was reviewing on the bike. Right. So yeah, that's weird, isn't it? He had sure hands and strength four, and he's gone for not sure hands. Yeah. He's going for a handoff. <laughs> what on earth? He must have just misclicked, because that is insane. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it wasn't even SPP generation. It wasn't a, a vanity pass. It was just an odd way of doing it. <laughs> it saved a GFI. Why was he that far back that it would save a GFI, though? That's, oh, God. What a disaster. Okay, so it was a, it was a setup fail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, but, yeah, you know, he's, k fog has got here. He's got Wrestle... Dauntless wrestle tackle, isn't he? So the strength four isn't that much of a big deal for his main sacker. No, I mean it's it's all and only about the gutters, for course. So I mean the most interesting one is benched, which is the very near one turner. Um, it took wrestle as a first skill, which I'm sure he loathes now, but it's, since then it's got uh, side step, two agilities, and a plus move. So it isn't a natty; it needs a push, uh, but only one square. Yeah, it's so good, isn't it? And does he have a juggernaut? He does have a juggernaut, so even he does. if he's got three stand firm, he'll be able to get that push. So, the main, yes, the main hit he wrap has juggernaut instead of claw. Um, so it has a tackle. Doesn't matter, just straight has the that's, ogre. That's why he doesn't need claw. <laughs> he rolled yeah, a double just roll, just, juggernaut. Just, just roll 11s. <laughs> so he, he, it's, it is a clawless rat team, which is quite interesting. Um, mm. But again, humans are hence not the worst thing for it to roll into. Yeah. And the one AV9, they've just completely taken out. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That that was a thing. That happened. Yeah. He's, he's so good, isn't he, Kerfog? You see, just <laughs> instantly casting that guy. <laughs> Brilliant. It's, it's high level IQ 3000 strats. So the rest of the gutters are interesting. There's a blodge guard one, uh, with its only skill being guard. There's sort of a ball carrying one. It's got two heads, blodge sidestep, and sure hands. And then there's the, I mean, words I won't say because you might get demonetized. Um, but in Fumble, you can you can type a few little letters over the players, which then stay on your client during the game. And that's the one that I would either usually title kill or another four letter word. Um, <laughs> and it has Not tackle, two heads, <laughs> wrestle, 
uh, and Dauntless. So it has the full pack of utter evil. Uh, that's the one you want dead. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really kill him. I like MDK for murder, death, kill from um, Demolition Man. There you go. How about I usually Dauntless? just give them a label that says they should uh, that I would like to see you next Tuesday <laughs> yes country wizard <laughs> but kill covers too it fits nicely it's easy to see and it just reminds you that you want that one dead although yeah. the natty of course also requires death but it's very hard to kill them in the dugout ah oh, for the glory days where you could assassinate players pre-game that was a long time ago. I know, deep cut there. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Aurelensis. <laughs> yeah, country. Country with it. Um, there was a thing in Third Ed where um, Death Zone, you could, you could run off the pitch and injure somebody on the reserves. <laughs> Fantastic. So, so there was a way more recently. Well, there's a, a special team rule for the special underwhelmed team um, where they can have fights in their dugout, isn't there? That is true, I don't know how relevant that is anymore with the new edition of rules, though. Generates re-rolls for them. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. I am i don't know for sure, I haven't heard leaks, but I'm expecting all of the spike stuff to be sort of ruled in, because a lot of it was made knowing this was coming. I mean, like the Snotling roster they released was released for 2016, knowing it was going to be amended for you know the new, new rules, the same with Old World Alliance. Dirty Dino's there. Right. I finished my sandwich now, anyway. <laughs> so, as, as and, you know, when I said play like water, it's the sexy way of saying that Core will run away. But um, he's not going to run away, uh, you know, he's not going to dacker his defence or do the uh, the withdrawn defence where you just run away into the corners. He's going to elf wall just in front of this human team, uh, look for ways to snipe key pieces if he can, uh, and if necessary, just collapse back and rely on his ability to one turn against just about anything. Yep. After all, he has a brand to build. Uh, and if you don't know, um, then navigate your way to Core KFOG's uh, Twitch page and follow the links there to his YouTube, uh, where he has a wonderful series explaining how to one turn successfully. Mm. Uh, and more importantly, how not to set up so that he chuckles when he looks at it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's that should be required reading for Rebel to... Uh... <laughs> to just, you know, ease the embarrassment of their, of their Division I mean, 1 where literally nobody is able to one turn ever. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry if I've caused any offence there, but you know, fuck Rebel. Um, yeah, it's to my chagrin that I have yet to be banned by Rebel in any way. <laughs> I feel it's a badge of honour I need to earn, but I'm, I'm sure it will come. Yeah, just just keep mentioning them occasionally. I'll just continue to be me, and I have a feeling that will be enough. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably. It just depends, really, whether like Full Metal likes you or not. If he likes you, then you can do no wrong. If he doesn't like you, then whatever you do will be wrong, basically. <laughs> that's uh, that's how it works. I'm Mister Nice, don't you know? No, I'm Mister Nice. I was going to say I'm the nicest man in Blood Bowl, but I'm aware that you've stolen that crown. Oh, I, I always had it. I, I'm Blood Bowl's Mr. Nice. The nicest man in Blood Bowl is, uh, is probably Elliot, isn't he? And then uh... It probably is. Well, although Rick Reckless is, I mean, it's secretly a serial killer, but externally a nice fella. Yeah, but Rick already has the title of Blood Bowl Jesus, so... Well, yeah, fully earned. <laughs> yeah, so that... <laughs> he doesn't need the nicest man in Blood Bowl. He's already Blood Bowl Jesus. Yeah, let him into your kitchen, turn your back, and the fishes would be multiplying, I can tell you. <laughs> you, you, would, you wouldn't run out of wine if there was water available. <laughs> is this anything or not? I don't think it is, is it? I think he's just hassling the cage. It's it, it, If he can create the humans having to unpick a problem rather than take a, a step forwards and push the elf wall back, then that's it's all about you know delaying the touchdown. I don't think he's seriously going for the ball in any way. No. 
No, I just wondered if there was an exciting chin push anyway, but there wasn't. No, there really isn't. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. He's just harassing. Oh, foul. Okay, he's going in thing. with the foul. I mean, he's really long on the bench, so that's not that surprising. Oh, of course, oh. secretly does love a little kick to the face. He does, doesn't and he? Yeah. These humans are not long, and of course, that was a really, really good target. It's the, the hittiest of the blitzers. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I, we, I did slightly miss the genius of what he was doing there, which was working that piece yep. into a three assist foul. Yep, Nicely pretty done. Nice. Pretty now, nice anyone that's, uh, that's ever coached rats on a, a game you may have heard of, Jimmy, called Total Warhammer, <laughs> will know that the secret there is that uh, you just you throw the clan rats and the slaves just under the bus. You let them just be churned to pieces. Whilst your four or five good units just do all the damage. Uh, that's very much how Core is coaching this. There's just a wall of dross sat in front of these humans. <laughs> and you can engage with it, you can knock it down, he doesn't give a damn. <laughs> and also, fuck you, Dimmy. <laughs> There's only four pieces on this pitch that matter at the moment, really, for the, uh, the rats. And the humans aren't hitting any of them. Well, I think the humans have got to uh, move on from trying to hit them to just trying to not get turned over and scorned on now, isn't it? I mean, it's not even... Yeah, they're, they're, they're looking tight on numbers already. Yeah. Outnumbered by two, down to eight players. Like, this is just yep. horrible. Well, oh, losing the ogre lost their ability to just throw it into the middle of a pack of dross. Yeah. Which means they now, you know, they are no longer the orc here. They've got to try and be the elf. They've got to try and find their way through because the the skaven can strong arm them like this. Oh, they absolutely can. Yeah, this is looking horrible for them. And that lack of guard also means that the humans can't, particularly with the you know the ogre. Not only it stand firm in its strength, but its guard gone. Mm -hmm. The lack of guard means we can't step to a wall of rats and say, well, what are you going to do? What they'll do is just knock you over. Yep. Yeah, this is real, yeah. real bad for the humans now. They could almost think about giving up scoring very, and just concentrate on not getting scored. Very, very bleak. I'm, I'm slightly confused as to why the apothecary didn't go in for the ogre. Yeah, I just checked then, and he didn't use. Yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Weird. Me too. Because I, I, I thought well, I must have missed a fail on it, but because without it, I just don't see how we dominate this round team. Yeah. And we were underpowered before our key mighty blow got taken off the pitch. Yep. Oh, thrown in the reroll for the uh, three plus dodge. He had four, so that makes. Yeah, he, I think sense. he just feels under no threat this half now. So it's it's just all going to be about herding the humans where he wants and keeping his team alive. Mhm. Mm I'll be right back. He'll hold one back in case something happens. I mean, you know, the humans can always break through. They do have speed. Uh, and there is that AG6 near natural on the bench that uh, that Core may need to throw at this. But if he doesn't need to, he won't. Now that's great. Uh, it's more about the numbers, but uh, perhaps also a tiny bit of on-field space gained. Okay, I'm feeling the pressure. The humans have decided they're going to respond with aggression. I quite like this as a concept, otherwise I feel they're, they're doomed. Now, is he going to have the nerve to roll the cage right up into the face of these rats? It looks like he's going to. He doesn't have enough pieces left to keep it safe without doing that. Push it right up in there and say, all right, then. I may have given half my team away, but what's left will fight you. We will fight you! Right, sorry about that. I had to go and force. Um, so I'd just eaten a sandwich uh... In a really fun turn of events, the humans have decided now massively underpowered and without the two key aspects of fighting <laughs> this team, that they're now going to fight it. Oh dear. So that's exciting. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of respect it, otherwise it, the, the path here is to loss. Yeah. 
I would have so, just given up on the score. Because even if you score, he probably won turns anyway, right? So I would have just think, yeah. thought about giving up on the score and try to get out of the half at nil-nil. But he, I would have um, also appalled the uh, August, so there you go. Yeah, he knocked out a, a pointless line rat, uh, which made him feel a bit braver. So he decided he would engage and attack. Um, and I, I don't hate it. I mean, the ball is on a strength four blodge piece. You know, yeah. that's a thing. He's still got a mighty blow. He needs to get that active and working to turn this around. And he's put it right up in his face. Yeah. And how do you stay safe against this team? So if he just retreats, surely it's just the beatdown starts. Yeah. So no, he's, he's pushing on. He's saying, all right, these dice could change and that could be good things for me. And I respect it. I mean, yeah. it's doomed, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, Throik. Oh dear. He doesn't follow. He could have followed and had the 2D with a gutter runner there, couldn't he? Yeah. I wondered if this was an attempt to somehow push it around the corner and surf it, but. And I, I'm fairly certain there was a way to gain a blitz on the ball with Dauntless, but he, he has sort of chosen not to. He's just kind of moving things about in a way that is a bit confusing to me. Yeah, I quite like the follow and then you could have punched him and then chained, chained your own rat out again, couldn't you? I quite like yeah. That. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, what, it's what I call the seesaw, where you push in only to push yourself back out th with the next hit. Um, I love doing it. It's, um, yeah, I mean, what it's given him is a really sol solid wall in front of these humans, but surely more was available than that. Yeah, and, that, and now he can, uh, he can blitz here, can't he, and get forward. He might actually, like, this is great. He's got four players free, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, this is about as yeah. good as he could have hoped for, I think. I mean, the, the back of the cage is also nailed down, which is a slight problem. Yeah, I, didn't yeah, I was, I was. There really wasn't space to go sideways, unless you blitz through that player. Yeah, yeah, I think you blitz through there. And even if you do, then you just leave a couple of players behind. I, I don't hate stepping forward and having another go at fighting this line. Oh no, I, I really like the blitz through because blitzing through gives you a, you know, you can dodge these linos out in eight out of nine, can't you? Yes, you you can, and you do have lots of rerolls to cover that um, the total lack of skills on this human team. So perhaps you're right. Perhaps trying to move everything to the left and a little bit forwards, and just yeah. unsettle where the rats have got you pinned in and, and centralise is a good move. It is turn six. That gives you two more to attack. I think that's probably good. Yeah. Um, the flip side, he is attacking forwards. The flip side of that is that this, you know, we say this human team's been cut its two main hitters in the Ogre and the bigger Blitzer. Um, the Rats never had any in the first place. <laughs> yeah. So, there is a route here through them that works with two more turns of hitting, but really we needed that Blitz to produce something. Yeah. And when it didn't, not to follow up and isolate our remaining one hitty player in a position <laughs> Easy to see him getting monstered and fouled out. Yep. But other than that, loved it. <laughs> yeah, he's going to feel quite confident. He's got strength for. Oh God, um, <laughs> that's not nothing, is it? What? What's? What? <laughs> why? <laughs> how is this going to be a thing, Jim? He's got a nice power there, look. He's yeah. hit that line rat. He's got he's got a casualty. Ooh. There we are. Kerbal came and Kerbal casualty. Wow. Um, yeah, I don't see how he hangs up with this ball here, but you never know. And he's got the sidestep, hasn't he? can hasn't he? sing songs of the casualty he got in Chalice. <laughs> he certainly can. Good <laughs> afternoon, Ducky. <laughs> I... I um, there, there might be. Ooh. I didn't like that hit. I no, just I with What are we doing? Yeah. Why I are guess, we? I guess he wanted to hit with him so that the guarder could go there on the ball. Yeah, I think yes. The next one was the, the chain in this was the guard hit, wasn't it? To get the the guard automatically in without having to move. Yeah. I see. Okay. Um. Can't we still? Hit outwards using the lineman Utsia. 
Jids. <laughs> yeah. The, the one that actually is the dirty player. No, the kick player. Yeah. Okay. With the cancel, with putting that one in, which we need anyway, now yeah, cancels the assist, which means the kick can do the same job. Just rely on the but, Yeah, just rely on the Dormus. Fine. It fires. It's two. We get the uh, the push pow, but it's good enough because we have tackle. Yeah. I'm not sure. Ooh. Would you sidestep there? No, I would have gone in the middle of all of my players. <laughs> no, no, yeah. that's insane. It, it seems a. I mean, <laughs> the bounce has been perfect for it. Yeah. But th there you go. Just, I just sidestep to there. <laughs> that was wrong. That was just wrong. Yeah. yeah. I mean. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing. Like, I can I can see the point of him making that hit and everything, but obviously he could have, if he'd done it differently, he could have had the shoe sure hands ready to. Uh, yeah, someone who's and... who's thinking about content and creating Blood Bowl content, <laughs> I'm worried maybe that you know what is there that really hasn't been covered. Um, I mean, perhaps don't be a moron. Just needs to be said more. That's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe. Just an hour of showing people doing very strange things and say, don't do this or this. <laughs> really don't do this. Never do this. What was this person thinking? Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so that was all terrible. And now the ball is gone. <laughs> um, not quite, but it, it, it should be. Yeah. Now, this is where an interesting choice, because quite often, Core will bring his uh, ludicrous natties on pitch with him. Because imagine what use an agility six-piece could be just about now. Yes, that's, that is true. So the fact that it isn't, uh, I think, shows that he's been very careful with it, but that's also not very Core-like. I think it actually shows a little bit of disrespect to his opponent, thinking that he won't need it. Oof. Dr. Disrespect. I know. I know. I think it's it's End a little bit, of, uh, little bit showboat. A little bit toxic. End the fucking showboat. turn, man! He is an absolute showboat, isn't he, Kfog? I'm, yeah. ju I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. You know, it just, it just occurs to me. Blood balls. Right, the humans toxic. need this ball back because a ball on the ground against rats or elves is a ball that's gone. So how are they picking it up and how are they getting it safe? Those are the only questions that matter this turn. Well, I um, shall tell you. They're going to. Um, block somebody and then blitz somebody and then they're going to pick it up with a catcher hand off to the blitzer dodge away and score no they're not that's no they're not going to do that it's not the worst plan i've heard though no i mean it's creating a nice little safe space there right in front of the ball yeah. we've got pieces that could get up into there haven't we we could actually pick up with our um Double score. Our catcher, couldn't we? Oh, yeah, dear, I like the catcher pick for a double score. Yeah. I like the catcher pick up rather than the thrower. But now that the reroll's gone, now it's probably the blitz. Oh, but of course, up. the throw really moved. So I, I still would probably pick up with the catcher here. But... I think blitz a pick up here, uh, but just put the catcher, you know, for the assist for the blitz. And yeah. Then see that you can two, and then two D with the lino, and then two D blitz with the blitzer. Like, it's terrible, obviously, but <laughs> what the fuck else can you do? You could just pick up with a catcher and score. No, you're not in range. Pick up on a 4-plus with a catcher. Yeah, I think you're right. And then and then you run forwards into at least the mess of where your people are. Yeah. <laughs> Although, you, you've not built a shape that gives me a lot of confidence. No. But yeah, I think you're right. You have to do the hit at the back first, and then blitz the uh, the touch, the tackle zone off the ball. Pick up with the blitzing piece, no, just or nice. just do that, which is terrible. It's just terrible. <laughs> if you're doing that, at least put your sidestep next to the fucking ball first. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm um, sorry, that's just depressingly bad. Jim. I'd, I'd, <laughs> I had hopes for this game, do you know? Yeah, you've got mic troubles, uh, PC, yeah, as Ducky just says. Um, you're a bit... Okay, sorry. I don't know what it is, oh. but... Um... Unplug and replug, that usually solves it. Cool. But yeah, that was that was bad, wasn't it? And there you go, Kev is away. Big Kev. 
He's in scoring range without any GFIs required. He's got a screen. Hello? Yep. Ball gone. Yeah, that's much better. Ball gone, game gone. Like I said, I hope he enjoyed his casualty. Yeah, he did get that casualty, didn't he? I, he he will, did get a casualty. That is something to tell um, the grandkids. I qualified for He was in the chalice. Season. <laughs> qualified yeah. for the Blood Bowl chalice. He played, <laughs> oh, he played Big Kev, PTK, <laughs> yeah. in prime time on a Saturday afternoon in front of an army of literally people. <laughs> Let's not go that far. <laughs> <laughs> and now the depressing sight of all the rats just running away yeah. because they've done their job this they've, game is over they've done their job they've used their ammunition now they're just going to wait for the army losses to kick in <laughs> <laughs> oh dear <laughs> <laughs> so the humans are sort of standing there thinking, well, hang on, aren't we still playing Blood Bowl? And the answer is no. No, we're not. Look at them all just standing there looking confused. Well, what do we do now? <laughs> Does, doesn't matter. Should we hit some rats? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Using Ooh, a reroll just to hit a rat because he's got a reroll. He's got loads. And not get an extra should've... hit? Outrageous. Now, okay, so what should have been done differently other than the terrible, awful coaching decisions round on round? Um, I mean... In, in the key specific terms, just everything was terrible. But the problem was laid almost before all of that terribleness. Firstly, by this person not knowing how to play Blood Bowl very well. I, mean, that's, I can't stress enough that that's been a key flaw here. <laughs> oh, fuck about. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, thank you very much, Wolfpack. But oh, um, me. <laughs> but the seeds of the destruction, to be more specific, um, probably if anything, you've got to look at the four rerolls. You've got to look at the decision to advance the ogre, although he couldn't have known he was getting taken out. But not apothing yeah. it, not not even having it for the second half, yeah, just says don't. I don't really care about winning. Um, not using those rerolls to perhaps get more rowdy. I mean, I didn't hate the plan to fight these rats. These rats have nothing to hit back with. Yeah. But if you were going to do that, you needed to set out with it from turn one. Put all your guard, all your strength, all your mighty blow right up into the rat's faces and say, Come on, then! <laughs> um, but he, he sort of didn't do that. He chose to do it at a point where half the team had already been deleted. Um, yeah. That's not a good choice. No. So the, sort of the, the plans were the wrong way around. He started the half trying to run and outmaneuver when he could have been fighting, and then he tried to fight when he desperately needed to run and outmaneuver. Yeah. Not that outmaneuvering a team this agile is, is going to be easy. But hey, he's got 11 for the second half. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's 11 on the pitch. He's only one down. Blitz is going to happen. Pitch invasion is going to happen. Uh, I don't think so. I think still he still has 11. My God. Yeah, I think he came with 15 or 14. <laughs> yeah, 14. That's outrageous, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's why he doesn't mind throwing the, uh, the fouls in. Yeah. And he's got kick, so he'll put this in a dangerous position. The natty, is, the near natty is on the pitch this turn. Oh, no, of course he's receiving. So he might just natty for fun. <laughs> just because be, at 2-0 yeah. at it's it's over, and then he doesn't even need to defend. Mm. He can just run and sit in the corner, talking Wait. about cheese and playing cards. Yep. He's moved him there, so that that looks like yeah, he's, uh, he's looks like that's what he's doing. I'm sure some of this uh, rat squad have brought some top trumps. <laughs> They're looking forward to just breaking them out. Oh man, do you remember Warhammer top trumps? No. Mm. I thought you would. Proper old school the Warhammer top trumps. I was I was always Marvel or um, the villains one. With the Prince of Darkness and all of that, because you you played like you played uh, first edition Blood Bowl, didn't you? So I, thought I you did. Have, I did. Yeah. I thought you know that was this that with was the, the kind of uh, with the stone pieces on the tablets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I say played it. I mean, you know, games took three to four hours. 
<laughs> yeah, I never played first edition. I played second edition, but I first never played first. Was a, a terrible, terrible joke. Um, yeah. But the kernel was there enough of a good idea that people fell in love with it. Oh yeah, the box and art hence, was great. They, hence they wrote some proper rules for it. But the first edition was just nothing. It was awful. Yeah. Yeah. The vague seen... spirit of Blood Bowl was there. Yeah, yeah. I bought I bought it off eBay actually, you know, just to like have it. Mm. And then I've never I've never tried to play it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's not a playable thing. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, games are always decided by which team is finally alive. You don't reach the three touchdowns you're supposed to to win. Right. Fair enough. I mean, to be fair, that's what Second Dead was like. <laughs> you just go, just literally pitch clear and then score your three touchdowns. <laughs> like First Dead had like uh, had like weapon skill and stuff, didn't it? Yeah, you could attack or tackle. There were your two choices. You had two movement phases. If you didn't attack or tackle, you could move a second time in each turn. Yeah. Um, all sorts of weird, wonderful little things in the corners <laughs> of the rules there. You had a cool stat, uh, which you used for jumping and catching. Yes, yeah, that, that was in second dead as well, the cool stat, wasn't it? That remained in second dead. And my favourite rule, which is if anyone got injured, seriously injured, anywhere near a Minotaur, if you rolled a dice and there was a good chance the Minotaur just stopped playing, killed them and ate them. Yes, blood and green. just sat there eating them for the rest of the drive. <laughs> yeah. And if, if interrupted, would kill the player that interrupted them and eat them too. <laughs> and I do miss troglodytes. I wish somehow we'd bring those back into the rules. Right, so back wow. to this... They're well, the, for they're want the of a better word, game. <laughs> they're the coaches. So the, the deep kick has meant that uh, instead of the one the near natty, what he's done instead is bring the ball up near the line and advance the near natural to the point where he can just walk in yeah. uh, and do a bit of a dance on the uh, on the line as it goes in. Of course, yes, he's a well-known showboater. And now, of course, we're going to see if the humans can do or even care to try and do anything about stopping it. Um, any ideas here, Jim? I mean, you could go around the outside. You've got some fast pieces. Yeah, you've got dodge as well, haven't you? One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six. Oh, yeah, you've got to smash them. they just got to smash I, him. I don't hate this blitz, this plus strength tackle blitz piece. Just going in and doing exactly that. Mm. Taking a, a lovely two die on this nat near natural. Maybe he's a, maybe he's a it, dodge and a GFI. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven hits on eight. Yeah. yeah. Rather than two dodges, yeah. Yeah. Do the first dodge. Two GFIs, yeah. Or rather than two GFIs, um, because uh, I don't know. Two GFIs is. I mean, yeah, I just. I'd like to use the inbuilt skill, but instead we're just hitting a completely pointless line. <laughs> yeah, I think this is terrible. But yeah, I kind of like the dodge and a GFI because then that balances out. Success, yeah. chance of success with also having the re-roll available for the hit. With having the re-roll available, yeah, and later in the turn and for the hit, because I'd absolutely re-roll a push on that hit yeah. that round. Yeah, you have to, you have to knock him over and break his armor, otherwise he's scoring. Basically, <laughs> it's fucking yep. add six. If you yeah, push you him, can, he gets. You, him, can, you, yeah. can, you can put three, three tackle zones on him, and he can still just be handed the ball. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. It's fine. He does not care. <laughs> and so Zero fucks given. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I think I think you definitely want to re-roll that. In fact, maybe uh, maybe you should have brought somebody in first, so you could have hit oh, from the square flicky. directly. In front I of him. would play cheese chop trumps with you every day of the week. <laughs> cheese chop trumps. Oh, can you imagine stinking bishop versus Wookie hole? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I would only play. I would just play um, Red Leicester constantly. If you, if you've never had anything truly lovely out of Wookie's hole, then Jim, you've never, you've <laughs> never had proper cheese. That's... Oh dear me! Look, the, I'll show you here. These were the top trumps. This was. Oh yeah, they were combat cards. They, they, they weren't top trumps, oh, obviously. Cards. They were, but they, I mean, they were top trumps. But there you go. There's the link if you. And click on that, and uh, yeah, they had like 40k, which was space Brilliant. war. Brilliant! <laughs> oh, 
old stuff and it's pretty good. They had a Balrog, they had a Bloodthirster and a Balrog, which is wild, isn't it? Because... Excellent. Yeah, you wouldn't think they would... They would do that. There we go. And that was with the f probably that was probably the first time I saw a Bloodthirster. In that, in that right, thing. so we, we've done, I mean, not a terrible job here as the humans. We've put a little screen up in front of the near natural. Uh, we have put three tackle zones on it, which does make it a three for him to be handed the ball. Mm -hmm. um, obviously very challenging there. Um, and we've put a little bit of pressure towards the ball. I mean, it's it's not the worst term. We've yeah, we've locked down that little hole. It's it's all right. It's okay. No, it's not terrible, is it? I mean, the rats can really easily just switch sides. Yes, which they have um, done into already. A huge, ball, huge, huge gaping void of space. But you know, you can't achieve everything all the time, and he's achieved a lot that turn. I like lots of the shapes. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, this is the this is the problem, isn't it? Because he can score any time he wants as well. He doesn't have yeah. to just, you know, stop no. the drive till turn uh, turn eight, or turn sixteen. Turn but he's he's so. doing uh, he's doing something Core loves to do, and uh, I'm a fan of too, which is using his agility six by not using him. Yeah. Um, so nothing that is important this turn is involving that agility six. It'll come last. Yeah. Because, of course, the ball carrier is a gutter, and that means it can go wherever it wants. Just it's ridiculously fast and agile. Yep. <laughs> so he's built a lovely screen. Notice how he doesn't need a cage. A screen is fine. Yep. And, uh, I know he's a zero, but he could still go for the handoff, couldn't he? It's like, it's free real estate, isn't it, to go for the handoff here? Yeah, I think he's trying to score on the Storm Vermin. Yep. There you go. Which is one go for it away from a touchdown, so probably means he's not going to score next turn, as he's just in such a good position that he's completely risk averse now, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, that's pretty cool, Skuro. Hello. Yeah. Combat cards. Yeah. I discovered it through Hero Quest. I'm pretty sure. Ah. I got Hero Quest first, and then I got the combat cards at the Games Workshop. You know, at around the time that I started getting some models or whatever. I think I came from um, Dungeons and Dragons, and from that, reading White Dwarf and finding out about the rest of the world of nerd. <laughs> yeah. I never played Dungeons and Dragons. Funnily, funnily enough, I've never played it in my life. And also, some of the uh, shops I used to go to for my comics also had a lot of uh, metal and role-playing stuff knocking about. Mm. I was a Marvel head. <laughs> Marvel. I have upstairs um, Deadpool's, the very first edition which Deadpool appears in. Ah, oh, very nice. In reasonable condition. <laughs> Not like mint condition, but very good. Nice. Uh, probably worth about 50, 60 quid. Nice. What an artist he is, eh? <laughs> that's uh, that's something to be. What's it called? Like optimistic about, isn't it? If you think you can't be an artist, you've just got to look at uh, the work of whatever the fuck his name is. I can never remember. But Deadpool George, guy. George W. Bush. <laughs> yeah. Who apparently? I mean, rumor has it that since he's left office as. What we thought was a low mark for incompetent stupidity in Republican presidents. <laughs> I mean, I mean, wow! You know, remember that far back in the world, yeah, before the darkest timeline kicked off. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, apparently, he's Glorious. become quite an interesting no, retired president, in ex cokehead who does a lot of painting and, and occasionally says quite funny things. I will defend. Who knew? I mean, wow! GWB is still a war criminal. PC. <laughs> Some some things feel inevitable in life. Just you know, when you get old, you, some things are inevitable. Like I always knew that Morrissey was obviously a cock. <laughs> so it was inevitable the rest of the world would eventually realise that Morrissey is a cock. Yep. Um, but that George W. Bush has got a sense of humour and can paint. No, didn't see that one coming. Well, as Skuro has just said, is st after staying fantastic for thirty-two glorious months. Thank you very much, wow. Skuro. So. 
George W. Bush is still a war criminal PC. Yeah, okay. Ups and downs. I'm not <laughs> saying it's the simple <laughs> picture. <laughs> And for all of Trump's flaws, he was the first president in about 40 years to not start any new wars, wasn't he? So there you go. Yeah, he did hang the Kurds out to dry, abandon his allies who were then slaughtered. He did do that, um, But yeah. he didn't start new wars. Yeah. He, spot on, he didn't do that. Yeah, he didn't Except do that. <laughs> arguably one of domestic terror. Uh, in, 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 internally. <laughs> But no new external wars. I'll sign that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. He, he did do that. So there you go. All I'm saying is it's a complex picture. <laughs> <laughs> there are good people on both sides. <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe there are bad people on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> Unless one set of Nazis, in which case. Just a little tip. That's the bad ones. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> right, so there we are. 2 0. It's over. I mean, it's been over since. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, turn two, but. Yeah. It's, it's now proper over. Yeah, I guess that's the only thing now is to see whether k goes for the uh, second score on the Storm Vermin. Um, well, he will, if he can get there at all. I mean, what he might do is just open the door and let the humans in. Yeah, maybe. Might be the quickest way of getting the ball back with the least risk to the yeah. rats. Yeah, because... The... Let's see. Let's. I mean, let's see as, as an admin. Obviously, he needs to uh, you know, show the quality and the attention that he brings to every single turn. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's judge. Yeah. I quite like this because he's left like a gaping hole, hasn't he? So you know the the humans can go for the gaping hole if they want. Or uh... well, I mean, it's it's what Dionysian calls his trap space, isn't it? Yes. Well, because everything needs a special word. Yeah. Um, and it's. I mean, I kind of see the point. The only problem is that it's a trap that's possible to spring and not care. If yeah. you do knock the entire of the line of scrimmage over and take out the single piece guarding that flank, <laughs> then that flank does crumble like a rather nice Wiltshire cheese. Yeah, but it's win-win um, though, isn't it? In this case, it's win-win because either it's a trap or it's not a trap. Either way, he either scores or he gets trapped and it's yeah. win-win, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, Cool just absolutely doesn't care. He just needs the ball back so that he can farm SPP where he wishes to. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So it's, it's this is a, the perfect time for it. Because it's like high risk, high reward, isn't it? Or just guaranteed reward. Never mind high reward. It's just literally... <laughs> there's none of the bad sides of, of doing it. <laughs> special word for special words is lexicon. <laughs> Oriolensis, the wordsmith. The country wizard. <laughs> they usually play for the <laughs> loss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's the thing. The humans can't play for the loss, can they? Like they shouldn't play for the loss. So no. If you just so their win condition the here is still about what scoring quickly and removing rats on the way. Yeah. So yes, you you, you pile down this exposed flank and you try and kill things on route. You bring the ball forwards as quickly as you can and you put a scoring option in place. Ideally, this turn. Yeah. K leaves the door slightly ajar, just as much that you think he's done it by accident. <laughs> well, I mean, frankly, I thought this was blatant. This was, you know, this was putting on your your frillies and that's it, and standing in a <laughs> glass window in an Amsterdam canal front here. <laughs> this isn't showing some leg. This is full on cam girl. <laughs> oh dear me. Yeah. <laughs> and there you are, one simple blitz, and he's exposed the nether regions of his backfield. He certainly has. However, he didn't, I mean, he did set up in an anti blitz pattern, which I don't hate against the offset line of scrimmage. Um, so the sort of chevrons that we saw from the human side were anti blitz because you've got to worry about these gutters. They. I'd argue that at 2-0 down, you don't, because a yeah. blitz just 
you know, you already ended the game. Yeah. So I would have set up more aggressively to take advantage of this space down the side. Yeah. And with the deep kick, my only worry now would be getting rats between the ball carrier and the area I want the ball to go to. Yeah. Um, and kind of, interestingly, we haven't solved that problem. Now, in the shape up in the space, the rear blitzer, the one that has tackle, if you blitz through there, you can get an enormous number of rats between the ball carrier and the advanced humans. Um, and they're completely screwed. Yeah. So that's what I'd do. I think, I think what Cavefog might do is something that leaves him a chance to score. You know, and protects his players and doesn't really tie too hard. I mean, that's the advantage that's the advantage of blitzing through that blitzer, is that it doesn't leave you exposed in any dangerous way. And your rats can all run through that hole and don't have to mark humans up. Yeah. And if he passes Good over boy, you to get it to this catcher, well, all right, fine. If you do that, you do expose players a little bit, don't you, so I, A, a little, like, yeah. yeah. And it looks like he, he is doing what you're saying. He's just going to sit there and go, fine, come on then, have a score. Yeah. As long as as long as it's to get one behind, I'm not worried. <laughs> not even of just course. chatting. This defense belongs in only fans. Oh, oh, did he? Oh, he's he's gone. The double G fight to hit the hit the catcher. And why not? It's because it failed. Because right. <laughs> it failed. Um, Terrible decision. <laughs> and it removes a gutter. Wow. Now the humans are in with a chance of losing a bit less badly here. Um, if they've got the balls <laughs> to move this ball up to this catcher, he's in only one go for it for some reason. Not as advanced as he could have been. Range <laughs> of a touchdown. As long as he can find a way to punch a hole through these two gutters, which doesn't seem obvious or easy to do. But. <coughs> It'll probably all be all right. Yeah. There we are. By taking that one down, he's now got a blitzer free to punch that hole. Yep. Here come the humans the roaring back into only two one behind. <laughs> and this Pro guy probably. Can run around so that one blitzer can run around for the assist on the storm vermin, and then the tackler can hit the non. Well, you, can, you do that hit first before the tackler hits. So yeah, and if you take it down, you hit the non sidestepper. Yeah. No, we're doing it wrong. <laughs> Although this way you can, this way if it all works, you can do it just with two pieces. But guess yeah. what? It didn't all work. God, <laughs> blood bolt. Sometimes it doesn't all work, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Someone should have told this guy. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, one in nine here is now very annoying. Oh, it's okay. Yep. It, it, it should be fine. Yeah. And actually, it only adds a go for it. As long as it's not the one in 36, you can still run around its body and have got out. Yeah. So there we are. We're now only one go for it from uh, scoring. And going back to down 2-1. Two, two, and then a blitz, a perfect defense. Um, Kefo getting the heart attack that he's probably due earlier than we all figured. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm all flex. <laughs> Hello, HTK. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? That's a pretty good. Uh... None at all, Aurelian. I'm 100% behind you. The humans are doing everything they can and they're doing it right. I'm just going to have fun with that because it's still probably doomed. Yeah. Uh, but I'm hoping that this turns around. I mean, I'm really hoping one of those kickoff events kicks in uh, and we can get a, a thrilling final few turns. <laughs> Uh, two go for it to drop one on your throw dice. Not sure I love it, but it worked out. Yeah, not with three re rolls and a team re roll in the pass, uh, you know, a skill re roll in the pass, I think. And having to GFI with a catcher, I think it's probably better to just do the pass, isn't it? I think it probably is, but. I don't know, let's find out. To the Samba Mobile. He dropped a 4 plus to a 3 plus with two 2 pluses. Yeah. He did. Uh... He did fail his go for it. Wow. So. But his sure feet got him over the line. Oh, he's got sure feet. Oh, that makes it different then. 
It does. You're not saving a reroll for that. So I guess the best place to use your rerolls is on those two go for it because you've yeah. got built-in rerolls everywhere else. Yeah, that sure. I think might have might have. Yeah, uh, I think that probably does tip it in favour of those two go for it. Yeah. Dropping the four plus to a three plus. Yeah, I've got a feeling it does. I'm not even going to check it on Samba now. <laughs> <laughs> just just say things in a certain way as if you have been informed and you know things, Jimmy. And yeah. everyone will believe us. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'm pretty certain now. <laughs> From my experience on the podcast for years, I can tell you it's only really Germans that check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wolfbug knows how to use the bot, so he's apparently done it all perfectly anyway. So, yeah. What if there was no reroll on the two, though? Let's see. If he doesn't win from here, there's going to be an extraordinary story to tell, Ori. So, um, at this point, I wouldn't be worried about it if I was him. <laughs> Losing from here would be hilarious, so uh, you'd always have that. Yeah. Also, it's close. So it's, it's close, but the GFIs were higher odds of scoring overall. But less likely to do it without a reroll. Obviously. If it was. If, if he didn't have sure feet. Yeah. But um, he did have sure feet. Oh, he's just going for the one turn. <coughs> those humans oh, built in okay. skills everywhere, isn't it? Okay, Fog, what are you playing at? Well, he's having a bit of practice. Oh, I don't like this. Plus, he just doesn't want to get hit. I yeah, mean, the humans do still have a couple of, couple of hitty pieces. Which they were hilariously uncareful with. Scoring your storm vermin! Oh, maybe he's going to score. No, the storm vermin's here. Oh. Flip me, guys. I like scoring on the storm vermin. I... Yeah, I'm not so sure about this. Um... Oh. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it will be safe, but... At the moment, there's a chance for the humans, isn't there? Yeah, there certainly is. I mean, I... I don't think the thrower can get there, but the tackle blitzer certainly can. Yeah, just a dodge, isn't it? Just a 3 plus and then 2 GFIs. 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus for two lovely die. Okay, he's covered it. Yeah, he's covered that route. But it's still just a 4-4-3. 4-4-3-2-2. <laughs> four, 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 two, two. Yeah, yeah, at that point, probably not. Okay, it's, okay, it's so the, now the dodger now worse. Then, the dodger goes oh, yeah. now, doesn't he? So now it's just 4-4-3 four, four, with dodge and one GFI. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that safe, no. Not as safe as it should have been, I don't think. It's hard, though, isn't it? Because at the end of the day, if once you're relegated to doing these like kind of larry moves, like that the humans have to, they're never that unlikely, are they? No matter what you do, you know, even if you venger bust it and everything. I and don't. I mean, uh, yeah. There's a couple of routes here. There's another, isn't there? Another blodge blitzer with tackle that could go four, four, three, two, two. Yeah. Just two one guys. GFI. Just one GFI actually. He's run straight uh, through. The uh, mighty blood tackle. Yeah. Yeah, through. yeah, the mighty blow tackler. Yep. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it's, um, yeah, four, four, three, two. I mean, I would, and you would, but uh, unfortunately, from what we've seen from this human coach, he won't. <laughs> He's playing for the loss. <laughs> well, yeah, it's... And the thing is, when if you do then pull that play off, everyone goes, oh, you're incredible, you're so lucky. And they forget the four times you tried something like that and it failed. Yeah. And you got a bit grumpy because you saw a way to solve it and it didn't happen. And they remember the one time you're lucky as hell. Yeah. And then they don't try things that are lucky and complain that they never get as lucky. Well, <laughs> it, it, really? <laughs> I mean, the, th the thing is as well, like also as uh, the thing about this is le less applicable to the people who mourn about it. <laughs> But um, I think what happens is if you're playing somebody and they, they always have to like roll a, a 4 plus to score, 
and someone else only has to like not roll a not roll a snake eyes to score. Yeah. They're gonna look less lucky because every time the every time one guy rolls a four plus, you're like, wow, he rolled a four plus and he scored. And then the guy who's just got to not roll a double one, the one in thirty six times, you know, you, you know, if they both do it seventy two times, you see that guy yeah. be super unlucky two or three times, and you see the other guy be super lucky thirty six times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, we we do we interpret these things so madly at times. But I mean, to not—I don't know—to not even try. I mean, it's just—he's given up, hasn't he? Yeah, that, that's terrible. You've got to try. And, like, there's a lot of things where I think people are too risk-averse. When I mean, we say it's a four-four-three-two, but remember there were re-rolls built in. Yeah. So. And look, he's—he's ro- he's just literally rolled the dice anyway. Look. Yeah. Four, 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 and then on top of that, you know, on top of that, he then had two die when he got there. It, oh, just <laughs> crazy, crazy well, three. To try. Three dice. He's literally moved them and not done the hit because he's done a pointless yeah, fucking he's already, blitz over. Already there. used his split, split, split stupidly. <laughs> there you are. If you're willing to do those dice, and there's no reason not to at this point in the game, as buggered as he is, <laughs> then do all of that first and get three dice on that ball carrier, and perhaps change the game. Yeah. I mean, this is this. It's not even. Ah. It's not even a two plus, is it? It's not even a two plus with the reroll. It's just a fucking blitz and chain him. Though K Fog's done that. Why has K Fog done that? Seems a strange place to put himself. Yeah, he's not. He's not assisting the blitz. This is just a two D blitz. I'm confused now. And that one sidestep, so you can't use that one as your fulcrum. You have yeah. to use the. Maybe he's just going to push. Dodge. You have to push yourself in. You don't. You can't use them on each other because one sidestep. So, um, yeah, I think he is just dodging. Yeah. But then, I mean, he can. You know, he can dodge through them, round them. It's all two pluses, isn't it? Yeah. Although there is tackle on him, so it's. You know, could eat a re-roll. Yeah. And he has only got one left. Okay. Just, he could have won yeah. in thirty-six, but he didn't. Yeah, <laughs> he could have done. He didn't. That's the thing, like, you know, doing that I base think I think I'd at least have blitzed the tackle off. Yeah, but... yeah, exactly. That, that's, that's what I was trying to try. Yeah. Yeah, but... Weird, isn't it? Yeah, I guess, he, I guess actually, yeah, he couldn't have done anything. Better than that. Really, okay, but... didn't have the pieces back, Wolf, that were free. All right, well, then it's fine. Yeah. It has only a two plus. The game is already won. And even if he snakes it, the odds of the humans driving back from there, they didn't really have a team ready to return it to the other end. I mean, he could have got a 2D, but he, he couldn't have got the 2D in a chain. That's the, that's the thing, isn't it? Right. So, like, he, he had the 2D on the tackle, but then so what? If yeah, he was, I mean, exactly. Like, that's he's, only got one re-roll. He's, he's only got one re-roll left, but then you're exactly. one in nine yeah. to use the re-roll instead of one in six. So, yeah. <laughs> and then you might just... Push him and then still have to dodge anyway. Well, on a, yeah, on a both down, as long as you had block or wrestle on a both down, you don't re roll it. You just then go to the dodge. I don't know that he had anybody. I think he only had three, like, kind of skillless line rats. Right. I don't think yeah, I mean, it is the problem with this team is it is very light outside of the gutters, isn't it? Yeah. Which is why you were screaming about skilling that second vermin, which yeah. he's failed to be interested in doing, which is surprising. Yeah. I mean, at this point in a match like this, that would be my top priority. Yeah, that's why I would have done this setup to and, and not defended properly and, <laughs> and got the ball back to, to get into the Storm Vermin. Yeah, for sure. Pretended I was defending when actually not defending. <laughs> yeah. Just to get the ball back and score on the piece I wanted to. Yeah. And yes, Aurel Aurel is definitely definitely clutch those pixels. In your bosom. And, uh, yeah. To the point where he's. Yeah, he well, you're absolutely times. right. Risk aversion. It's, um, oh, it's as, as somebody wise. Oh, yeah, me. Always <laughs> says. Sometimes failure to, you know, too scared. Too scared of losing is too scared of winning. Mm hmm. Particularly when you're already behind, you know, behind the eight ball, you need to pull a great shot off. You need to do something that really changes how that's going to end up. And he had that odds there. Yeah. 
you know, Gore had foolishly not scored and left, left him that not ridiculously difficult two to three die shot on the ball. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, I think people do like go. A lot of people do go, do those things where they'll force a one in thirty six roll from their opponent instead of like making a, you know, a one in thirty, idiotic, stupid play themselves. And it's like, well, yeah. you're more likely to do the one in twenty five stupid play, so do that. Don't just yeah, absolutely. You're well done. You've given them a one in thirty six shot of of losing the game. But that thing that looked ridiculous, you're right. Once you do the maths on it, it turns out that works one in twelve, yeah. or one in fifteen, which feels a really long odds. But it's it's better odds, so mm -hmm. you should take that. Yeah. But it's again, it's it feels like well that'll be us failing, and I don't want to fail because you know I'll feel <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Well, yeah. And everyone that. says that Blood Bowl is a game of risk management and stuff, so I, I, that's what I should do. It's it, you've got to roll less dice. That's what they all say on on Blood Bowl tactics and Reddit. So I'm, I shouldn't make that dice roll, but yeah, often you should. <laughs> yeah, and especially versus good players. Yeah, exactly. Wolf. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna have to read Reddit. Can you just do that on a normal computer, or do you need one that that? Is based on the 1980s. <laughs> you can do it, on a, and you can do it on your phone even. You got, um, can you? Yeah. Wow. You need to limit how much you look at Reddit for your sanity. Basically, that's the. That's you you don't need to have AOL or something in order to get on there. <laughs> they were probably better if you had AOL because you would or be you, exposed to less at once. <laughs> or you, 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 you Yahoo something with it. Do you? Oh yeah. It's yeah. something I need to read and and sign up on on there apparently <laughs> that's true machina yeah that's that's more like that's more like blood ball yeah oh machina ready ready for the new map no doubt it's only it's about four days isn't it the new uh the new among us map pc Will i did you be someone again? did mention to me i haven't been playing it for a, a few weeks but um someone did mention to me the new maps coming out that might be interesting and fun i quite like the Glorious. game it's I find it a, a, like um, like pool back when I was studying acting. It's very much an antidote to Blood Bowl, isn't it? It's impossible yeah. to be 100% right or 100% certain. It's all yeah. about tones of voice and intuition, and that's quite fun. Yeah. I, it, honestly, the game died for me quite a bit when Dimmy, Dimmy stopped playing. Like, Dimmy was a big draw for me. I, I really Dimmy enjoyed was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking such, a, such a good fucking laugh. I mean, Dimmy was all intuition, but he was also, you know, his intuition was sometimes woeful, but sometimes really spot on. Oh, yeah. Really much, more than, much more than just average. <laughs> Only us old Brits decided to be all dickish. I don't know what you're talking about, machine. <laughs> like I know that it wasn't the you know the best playing stuff when Dimmy had just got it's machine, it's machine. I bought him off, <laughs> but it was just great, wasn't it? It was just more entertaining well, than like. I mean, you've got to ask yourself, what do you what do you play games for? Yeah. And, and what I play them for is for gaming moments, and I would particularly love it in Among Us when something ridiculous or silly happened, or hilarious or memorable. And it's 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 people like Dimmy that give you those moments. Uh, oh, really, Machine? All right, yeah. I, I mean, to be fair, I stopped before PC. Yeah, PC was one of the hardcore people, weren't you? Carried on playing for a long time. Um, yeah, I mean, only perhaps once a week for like an hour. It wasn't a massive part of anyone's time, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, if there was a game going on, I might drop in and have three or four rounds. Yeah, I don't know. There a lot of those more like casual people. Just they were like they were like really quiet, and it's like it's hard, isn't it? Like with Muppet. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to get him because he's always so quiet. But then when everyone is that quiet, it's just a nightmare because like it was just. I don't yes, know, it's I better understand. when you've got some personalities in there, but. The problem is, is that that level of effervescence also seems to lead to a level of explosiveness. <laughs> yeah. um, and it is a game where people often rage out. <laughs> yeah, so I'm looking forward to playing it again. Hopefully, hopefully Demi will. I might even play. You never know. Oh, glorious. Sure. PTK. Hey, guys. Hello. You so, I, mean, I was expecting you in the booth by about turn confident. three. Very confident, PTK here, assuming that uh, this touchdown won't count as two. Toxic <laughs> showboat. <laughs> Disgraceful. 
I didn't even man manage to sneak in Star Player points in the rookie. <laughs> but, well, I feel a bit robbed. You asked me to cover your game, and I've yet to see one. So, <laughs> yeah, that was um, that was. Um, he got his casualty. He can always he can write himself a, a note or, or pin it on a, on a scarf or something, and he'll always have that. He reached the chalice, and he got a casualty. Uh, yeah, four K. He got two casualties and four KOs. <laughs> there we are. There we are, and a couple of touchdowns. So what an experience for the lad. <laughs> um, <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> I did try to stop it. Did snake my attempt. Oh, um, so we hated you stalling up at 2-0 uh, because there was an enormous amount there that we could uh, we could see going wrong which he decided to completely ignore blitz <laughs> something irrelevant and then dodge all the pieces through that could have just destroyed your strength your agility 6 nay a natural um, just as a sort of show of dominance um, as yeah. he lost it did take what, what, was the, what, was, what was the thinking there it, it was mainly because I thought he would have just won the star player points on the Vermin, to be honest. It's pretty shit having a rookie Vermin. Oh, you know, no, not that one. The, the next oh. one, where you, you stalled up. I didn't have a reroll. I used my reroll on double skulls. I didn't want a uh, roll a one. Ah, right, so you didn't want to do the go for it. I see, I see. And I, and I rolled, uh, I didn't get a push on the second block. But so you I must have been surprised when he didn't choose to dodge through the lines. Um, yes. With his many blodge pieces. That's why I had to guard. It. Yeah, I was, that's why I just put the guard in behind at least good pick up options if he did the touching through. No, I didn't want to use the bre It seemed crazier to do the two plus and fail the one and then it's get us out and the game is over. Yeah. I would have just liked to have seen a, a slower I'm, drive with a handoff to a storm vermin and, and get him leveled. To be honest, yeah, I didn't think I, I didn't think I would get to do that again. <laughs> I must admit. Oh, I didn't you? I thought you could have done three or four. I thought you could have done that all afternoon. <laughs> yeah, really. um, he'd still have enough team. So if you acted, the problem with this matchup is you actually have enough blood, annoying tackle pieces. So if you actually wanted to, he could have put a lot of pressure on my team because. I have so few players that can actually do anything. Yeah, yeah. To be um, fair, it's a, it's a lot different when you're the one playing. Like to be fair, we were watching it and laughing about how it was over. But yeah, I guess when you're playing yourself, you're more aware of all of the dodge and everything. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to risk it. it will, I will look silly if I end up not winning because of it was hard. Like I took the panda off the first time around because I was literally even missing it there. It was so far away from everybody that it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, um, but I, I, know. I described yeah. your your defense against the humans. I think um, as as shut tight as a an Amsterdam brothel door. Um, <laughs> were you we attempting to defend him scoring, or were you just going ah go on then have a score, we'll get the ball back and, and in the second half? Yeah, uh, after, no, I didn't. But I was to be fair, I didn't bother too much if he wanted to try to. Like the two turning is also a lot of three pluses. So if he misses just one of them, I'll just take the ball and run again. So lots of chances uh, for him to fail it. And if he doesn't, oh well, I get the yeah. ball back and win anyway. Yeah, I did try kind of stop it when Stone went snake that go for it to hit the catcher to make it a little bit more uncomfortable for him for two turning. Uh, but I was close to not even do that and just hit the guard and let him try the two turn and hope hope for a fail. Yeah, I would have, I would have liked, I would have preferred that one just because then there's less chance of using your reroll, isn't there? So you've got yeah. something left if if it all goes tits up afterwards. Yeah, but he's, he seemed really keen on that catcher, so it'd also be fun if I've been hurting it. He yeah. seemed to protect it quite a lot. <laughs> was it like turn eight? Was it turn? He had a turn. Was it the turn eight or something where he run it into like a cage, <laughs> so I couldn't hit it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, right, we should wrap up the video here. Uh, congratulations, uh, yeah. Cole, and uh, thank and you well very much. Well done to Kerbal, whose uh, name I'm fairly confident I won't have to learn how to pronounce properly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah, I've never seen him. I know he plays He plays bigger than league and he plays uh, Bendy Gobb's style friends one. Otherwise, I've never really seen him. Oh, great. Player. Okay, well, he's got some friends that can have a look at that and give him some advice. Yes. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, if he watches the VOD, don't take it too hard that uh, PC was just saying, don't be a moron. Right. <laughs> Stay fantastic, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe. That's it. The end. Don't play like a moron. <laughs>